Hello friends, welcome to this class. We want to discuss just a brief introduction of international economics. And so we we quickly look at what background led to this discussion. Now, international economics is an integral part of the training of economists. Hardly will you be a professional economist without knowing a little, at least, about international economics. At an advanced level, it is an area of specialization. People devote their time to study things around international economics. It is not only based on the market economic theory, but also develops it. International economics involves the, an integration of macroeconomics, microeconomics and other economic disciplines such as marketing, management, finance, accounting, auditing, money and credit. Initially, international economics in economic system occupied a very small space because attention wasn't given to it. Okay, but over time it evolved and became a huge aspect of the study of economics in there are factors that actually you know led to the fact that it has become an area of specialty and, and this includes evolution of international division of labor it includes internationalization process of world economies the integration of country groups into different blocks regions it includes other factors such as um, international factor flow. These are factors that have influenced it. Now, in international economics, we actually look a lot on how open an economy is, which we call economic openness. That is how open an economy is in relation to the rest of the world community. You know, it, it defines a lot about international economics as a discipline. Openness of economies, an economy can be considered at two different levels. First is production and trade globalization, and the second is financial market globalization. Now, there are some indices we use in measuring economic openness, and it's important that you acquaint yourself on how to, you know, calculate these indices. They are simple. The first one is export quota. Export quota is calculated using your export, um, export um, the export of the country divided by the GDP times 100 because it's in percent. Okay, the same thing with the um, import quota. You take the import volume divided by GDP and then multiply by 100. Okay, now the other one is indices that measures the movement of people across border and one of them is the the coefficient of immigration coefficient of migration and migration turnover so these are indices and then in this one that has to do with population population studies are normally classified in terms of thousands so you don't multiply by 100 you multiply per thousand and that's the counting okay the other important indices we also use is the share of foreign investments how much foreign investments is is um, the, the, the gross domestic product of economy what is the component of foreign investment in it so that is also calculated using the foreign investment divided by gdp times 100 that's because it counts in in percentage now international economics has two major uh, broad as you know two major aspects it has the macro international economies it has the micro international economies basically if you still remember your concept of macro economics and micro economies you, you just use that to reflect or translate into what we call international microeconomics and international macroeconomies. 
basically international microeconomics looks at the what happens between households and firms uh, across borders uh, and macro uh, like the name implies okay now international economics is uh, international macroeconomics is an aspect of international economics that examines international flows of goods and production factors you know those things we look at in terms of markets and their characteristics now the macro international economics develops the macro theory you know of openness of economy and it, it looks at the relationship uh, you know of um, the, the 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 country or region as a whole okay so it, it looks at an economy as a whole in relation to other economies of the world so that's macroeconomics this is where we're going to stop this as uh, small introduction hope to see you in the next class thank you